This video demonstrates how to synchronize lighting cues with the Ableton Live timeline. Lightkey's new Live Triggers feature lets you run a fully automated light show directly from Ableton Live. Lightkey 2.5 has a new feature called Live Triggers, which provides a quick and intuitive way for controlling lighting cues from an Ableton Live set. If you are a live performer, you can run a light show that's perfectly in sync with the music without any manual operation during the show. Live triggers are based on MIDI messages. Before we begin, we need to set up MIDI communication from Ableton Live to Lightkey. Open Ableton's MIDI preferences and look for Lightkey input. Make sure the first button reads On. Next, we add a MIDI track to our set. We disable MIDI input and route the output to light key. Be sure to set the channel to 16. This MIDI channel is always used for live triggers. Let's take a look at the light key project we're going to use. It has a control panel with a few cues that will trigger from Ableton Live. Although we use a control panel here, live triggers also work with cue lists. Back in Ableton Live, we look for our light key project in the sidebar browser. It contains all cues from the control panel. To activate a cue, we simply drag a clip to the MIDI track. The cue stays active for the entire duration of the clip. When you adjust the duration, always drag the right end of the clip. If you drag the left end, the cue may not activate. To repeat the two cues, we simply select the clips and option drag them. Let's see what happens when we play this segment. Good, now let's add a few more clips. Again, we drag a clip to the timeline and adjust its length. The cue named background turns on the washers in the back. We want to activate it for the entire duration of the song. Because tracks can only contain one clip at any given time, we add a second MIDI track. The input and output settings are the same as for the first track. Let's take a look at the final result.